Cleveland Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson has returned to the field after an 11 game suspension. He played in his first game of the season yesterday a win over his former team the Houston Texans. Watson had some supporters in the stands but others in the crowd booed him. The NFL sidelined Watson in August after he was accused of sexual misconduct by more than two dozen women. They say they were abused during massage therapy sessions. Watson also was fined $5 million in order to undergo counseling. He was never charged with the crime. Bill Roden, a columnist for ESPN's The Endscape, has covered this story for months. Good morning, Bill. How are you doing? Hey, good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for joining us. Now, Watson is eligible to play the remainder of the season. Given the accusations and the fact that he was never char charged with the crime, do you believe that the terms of his suspension were enough? Well, I think, I, I, I think a lot of different things. Uh, I, I feel that he probably should have been suspended for the entire year. Um, you know, but having, having said that, uh, he's being held accountable. OK, he's being held accountable. And I guess what really outrages me now is is that, um, you know, the owners of the the multi-billionaire owners of, of the Cleveland Browns aren't being held accountable, you know, for, you know, for paying him. Uh, the multi-billionaire owners of the Houston Texans are not being held accountable, you know, for helping to uh, who, who are being complicit. In this behavior, it's not like they didn't mm. know this stuff was being happened. So, seems like the only person being held accountable is uh, Deshaun Watson, and he is definitely being held accountable. He's going to be booed. Uh, you know, they go to Cincinnati. He's going to. He, he is being held accountable, but uh, a lot of other people aren't being held accountable, and that's that. Mm. That really what is what uh, I think is outrageous. Bill, is he really being held accountable? I'm sitting here struggling with this. As Nate pointed out, uh, there have been 23 accusations. He has not been formally charged. There have been several allegations. But I personally wouldn't want to work with someone. If someone said Nate and Tony had 23 allegations from different women and they were found, you know, not guilty, I would be very uncomfortable. Are we just supposed to overlook all of that and say, well, he's a great football player, so yeah. let him back on the field? There's something about that that doesn't what, what, feel right to me either. Well, it does, it, it, you're right, Gail. There's no, there, there's no right parties in this. He is definitely wrong and should have probably been suspended for the year. But also, I guess what I'm saying is that who's paying him? Who, who, he's been paid the richest uh, salary in, in one of the, the history of NFL football. Who did that? Who, who, you know, who, who did that? The Haslam's, the Haslam's. They're the ones who paid him, you know. So, yeah, I think that we should flog uh, Deshaun Watson, but we should also flog the multi-billionaire owners who are, who are paying him. You see what I'm saying? And, and I guess... I get, I I get that. So what script. message does that send? If you're really good in your job, if you're really good in sports? Because any other industry, this guy wouldn't even be allowed to return to work. Any other industry. Oh, so what message does it send if no, you're no, a great I, I, player... Yeah, if, if you are a great player, and, and we've seen this at every single level of sports, if you are great, your talent will absolve you of, of a lot of accountability. Um, it, you know, but I think that we have to blame the adults. You know, you blame the kid and you, and you flog the kid, but you have to blame the people who are allowing this to happen. And I, I just don't think... We've done enough of that, whether it's Jerry Jones, who owns the Cowboys. I don't think we've held him accountable. Uh, we haven't held, like I said, we haven't held the owners of the, of, of the Texans accountable, and we haven't held uh, the, the owners of the Cleveland Browns accountable. And, and I, I guess what no, frustrates me is how do you hold multi-billionaires accountable? And it's not by, you know, they're the, they're the ones who are paying this guy. You know, so I, I agree with you, Gail, uh, and I think that a lot of people could be wrong. Deshaun's wrong, uh, the, the Browns are wrong for employing him, yeah. and Houston was wrong for nurturing it. Bill Roden, we appreciate you. Thank you for your honesty every time you join us here on the show. Thank you, Bill. Have a good one.